Hi everyone. In this video sequence, we are going to implement sign networks where the edges have either positive or negative weights attached to them. And if the nodes represent individuals, then the positive weight, positive edges indicate friendships amongst these individuals and the negative edges indicate animosity amongst these individuals. In such networks, there exist some sort of triangular structures which when analyzed lead to interesting observations. In this video sequence, we are going to analyze those structures uh, which are basically different combinations of positive and negative weights across the edges of the triangles present in the network. So I assume you've been already introduced to these networks in the previous videos. Uh, I'll just be briefly discussing the possible structures that uh, are prevalent in the networks and then we will go ahead to implementation. These are the possible combinations of positive and negative weights across the triangles present in the networks. Now some of these triangles are called stable and some of these are called unstable. Now what do we mean by unstable triangles? Or unstable combinations these are the combinations that don't stay in the network for a long time simply because they are inconsistent with respect to the relationships among amongst the nodes and they tend to move towards towards a stable state now we're going to see which of these are stable combinations or stable triangles and which are unstable triangles please note that there, there could be different uh, permutations of these signs across the uh, the triangles the only thing to note here is that there are three positive signs here and there, there is one positive sign here there are two positive signs here and there is no positive sign here so this is these are the the different uh, combinations of course the different permutations can exist so let's look at the stable triangles first so a triangle having all positive edges is one of the stable triangles. So there are three mutual friends. Um, there cannot be a better situation than this. So everybody is everybody's friend. This kind of structure seems to follow this popular social belief that the friend of my friend is my friend. The next uh, social, uh, I'm sorry, the next uh, stable triangle is this one where you have one positive edge and two negative edges so this basically shows that there are two uh, friends who have a who have one common enemy right so the triangle will have one positive edge but it indicates that two friends have one common enemy this is also uh, one of the stable triangles this triangle seems to follow a number of uh, interesting social beliefs for example if you look at uh, node a uh, with respect to B, the node A seems to follow uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. When it comes to node B with respect to C, uh, it seems to follow this belief that the enemy of my friend is my enemy, as you can see here. And if uh, when it comes to node C with respect to A, it seems to follow this belief that the friend of my enemy is my enemy. So it's, it's pretty interesting to see uh, that all the nodes seem to be satisfied with the kinds of uh, relationships they, ha they have with their uh, neighbors in the triangle. So, uh, so that's, that's how it is another stable uh, triangle. So you can remember that a triangle which has either one positive edge or three positive edges uh, are uh, stable triangles. Uh, let's now check the unstable triangles. So the first one, as you can see, is the triangle which has all negative edges. So this is one of the unstable triangles uh, because all the nodes are enemies of each other and uh, this, this kind of situation cannot stay for a long time uh, given the belief that uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. So this seems to actually play a role here uh, which, which leads to some of the nodes uh, uh, befriending other nodes and uh, hence changing the configuration and hence moving towards a stable state. So this this is uh, the one where there is zero positive uh, edge. 
let's look at the second unstable triangle now here as you can see there are two positive uh, edges and there is one negative edge so this basically means that there are two enemies which is a and b here there are two enemies and they have one common friend so this is again another unstable situation which uh, which uh, doesn't tend to stay for a long time because two enemies would not like to have one common uh, friend uh, so this again uh, leads to another state which is stable uh, hence changing changes the, the configuration of the network so you can remember that the uh, that a triangle which has uh, either zero positive edge or two positive edges is an unstable triangle right so you can remember it that way now what we are going to do is we are going to look at each of these unstable triangles and we are going to see which stable states can these triangles move towards. So we are taking the first unstable triangle uh, here where uh, there are three mutual enemies. As I said uh, uh, the belief that enemy of my enemy, my enemy is my friend seems to play uh, a role here in the network. So, so when there are um, three uh, negative edges which means that some of these nodes tend to uh, make uh, f make friends make friendship friendship with each other so it may happen that b and c um, become friends of each other uh, because uh, their enemy they, because they will then have a common enemy which is a or it may happen that uh, uh, these three negative signs uh, leads to uh, A and C uh, becoming positive because they will have uh, B as a common enemy or it may happen that uh, A to B becomes positive because they will have a common enemy C. So whenever we have a triangle which has all negative edges that is zero positive edges it can move to any one of these three uh, stable states where there is one positive edge each. So let's uh, talk, talk about the next unstable triangle which has one negative edge and two positive edges. So here there are two enemies uh, who have one common friend which is C. Now there, are, there, can, be, there can be three things uh, which can happen in this scenario. First thing is since uh, C is a common friend to A and B, C might help uh, a and B also to become a friend, right? So A and B, A to B edge can become positive uh, like this. So this is one thing that can happen. Second thing that can happen here is A has a friend C who who is friends with an enemy of A. So that may uh, lead to uh, animosity between A and C. So this is what can happen in this case. Third thing that can happen is since B is friends with C, who is friends with an enemy of B, which is A, so that can lead to uh, animosity between B and C as well. So it can lead to this kind of situation. So as you can see on the right hand side, uh, the three uh, configurations, one of them has three positive edges, which is a, po which is a stable one that, uh, that we already know. And two of the configurations have one positive edge which is again a, a, a stable relation so uh, all these three are stable relationships so the relationship on the on the left hand side leads to these three configurations in the implementation uh, we are going to start with a few configurations and we'll see how they move towards stable states in the next video we are going to uh, see the steps that we are going to follow for the implementation